from 2014. George Llewellyn Davies was born on this day, 1893, one of the most loved boys in history thanks to the work of his foster father, who had a fascination with the petite actress Maud Adams. The writer, J.M. Barry, was a Scot with wide connections to the greatest of the day. Children were entrusted to his care, and there's no evidence he ever betrayed that trust, but rather it inspired him. George's behaviour with his siblings became part of Barry's work, Peter Pan. He once remarked that death would make a remarkable invention, adventure, and that became words of Peter Pan. His father died in 1907 and his mother in 1910, and Barry became his foster father. George was 21 in 1915, a second lieutenant, fighting in the trenches, shot in the head, cruelly denied an adulthood. Another well-loved boy born on this day, 356 BC, was Alexander, son of Macedonian King Philip. Philip was ambitious and had a tutor for his son, Aristotle. Alexander became king on the assassination of his dad when Alexander was 20 years old. He ruled for 13 years and conquered the known world and much that was discovered. Thanks to him, Greek philosophy was spread throughout the world and the pharaoh of Egypt was his family. But he died young, bereft of friendship and prone to drink too much. Some would say the moral lesson was not to kill their friends when drunk. Others would say there was no need to get drunk. Also born on this day was the poet Petrarch. In 1304, Edmund Hillary, 1919, Diana Rigg, 1938, same day as Natalie Wood. Passing on this day was James Garner in 2014, Bruce Lee, 1973, and the despicable Helen Thomas, 2013. Israel defends itself legitimately, but bigots like Green Senator Lee Rhiannon have lied to incite hatred against Israel to terrorist supporters. Recently, Rhiannon was filmed at a protest gathering including Hezbollah and Jihad flags, where she claimed that Israel was a terrorist state targeting women and children. It is true... Women and children have been collateral damage to attacks by Israel against Gaza rocket launching sites. However, Israel has met its conventions for firing such weapons, phoning and letter dropping in advance their intention. But terrorists for so-called Palestinians have used civilians as shields, which is another war crime that has gone unprosecuted by the world court. Terrorism cannot be allowed to continue or there becomes unwelcome consequences as with M817 being shot down by Ukrainian separatist forces. It has become increasingly clear that Russia is behind the weapon which fired, but the issue of Ukraine encouraging the targeting of the airliner is not being addressed. The Ukraine government is illegitimate, but favours the White House. Until Obama comes clean on his dealings on the issue of the division of Ukraine by Russia, then the blame game will not be productive or conducive to peace. I don't see anybody here, so if you come by this video at a later date and you like it, like it! Also, feel free to comment and share. Spread the love. Be well.